With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question we have a liquid of density rho flows along a horizontal pipe of uniform cross section area A with a velocity V through a right angled bend as shown in figure. What is the force? Uh, what force has to be exerted at the bend uh, to hold pipe in equilibrium? Okay. So this is the pipe which we are shown and there is a 90 degree bend in it. So here we are given that the liquid is traveling with some velocity v in this direction. Okay. And as soon as it hits uh, the wall of pipe here, the liquid will change its direction of velocity downwards. Okay. Now here we can see that as this liquid will come here. Um, there will be some normal reaction provided by there will be some normal reaction provided by these walls right some force will be exerted from this wall and some other force will be exerted from this wall so from here we can see that the resultant force that will be in uh, 45 degrees something like this okay so this means to hold this bent pipe in its equilibrium position we have to exert a force exactly equal to this magnitude uh, but opposite in direction okay so let us calculate the value of that force now here we can see that when two forces are acting if this is uh, the force from vertical wall and this will be the force from horizontal wall so the magnitude of resultant force that will be equal to under root 2 f if both these forces are f okay and the magnitude of both these forces will be equal as the direction perpendicular to this velocity um, will make this velo velocity stop here right here right and the downward force will again provide the same velocity v uh, to the water particles okay now we know that force is equal to rate of change of momentum okay dp by dt and dp by dt this will be d by dt of uh, momentum is mass times velocity okay but here we can see that uh, velocity the magnitude of velocity remains the same Whereas the mass of the liquid will depend upon the volume transferred, right? Therefore, uh, force will be equal to dm by dt times velocity, right? So, let us find out dm. Um, dm will be equal to, if I take a small element of this pipe, right? Of length dx, right? This length is dx. So, I can write mass will be equal to density times the volume right and here volume will be equal to this cross sectional area a of the pipe multiplied by uh, this length dx okay so this will be equal to a times uh, dx okay therefore dm will be equal to rho a dx so from here to find the mass rate flow of uh, water that will be equal to dm by dt okay this will be rho a dx by dt right so this will be equal to rho a dx by dt is velocity okay so i can substitute this equation here right so force will be equal to rho a um, v multiplied by v okay therefore f is uh, rho a v square so that means resultant force r this will be equal to r will be equal to root 2 times f so f is rho a v square right so this will be the force which we have to exert on this pipe to keep it in equilibrium right therefore the correct option will be option c for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today